So as you can see here, I have created a list of topics that deal with the 21st century skills and are most relevant to teachers. So I have seven skills listed and I will go through each one individually and talk about what it is and why this is important to teachers. So the first skill that all teachers and I think everyone in general needs to have is the skill of communication. And this is simply just sharing information with other people around you and other staff or anyone in general. And the importance of communication is it allows the teachers to talk effectively with school staff and students along with parents, whether that be through email or a newsletter or just mouth to mouth. And also it will allow the teacher to help the student achieve academic success by helping aid the student along and figuring out what he or she needs and being able to communicate that with other staff and other faculty around them. The second skill that all teachers need to have is collaboration and this is where you work together with other people in your school or just around you. And the importance of collaboration is that this allows the teachers to share information and collaborate back and forth with one another. So let's say one of the teachers in your school is having trouble trying to figure out how to like make a lesson plan for a math game that they're trying to do and they she's just struggling on ideas and she needs some input. This is where you could talk with the other teacher that's having problems and you could add your ideas and share your tips that you've found helpful or just share ideas that maybe they could add to it and they could help that could help them figure out what to do with the game and how to go about creating that game so it will be fun and interactive for all students. The third skill that all teachers must have is adaptability and this is where you're able to make changes and also be flexible and this is important because some things some unexpected Situations could arise, such as a teacher sick, there's immediate death in your family, or maybe a teacher is expecting and they have to take maternity leave. So in these situations, the other staff have to be able to handle the change appropriately and figure out a solution so that it, the school is effective and that everyone knows what's going on and that they all are on the same page with the change. The fourth skill that all teachers need to have is accountability. And this is basically just where you're relying and trusting on others. And the importance of accountability is to enable the teacher, teachers to trust each other and keeping their information that they want private to themselves and also just being able to support them and just through the school semester or just support them in what they're doing and how they're going about taking care of their whatever it may be. The fifth skill is creativity and this is basically just where you come up with thoughtful and grateful unique solutions and the importance of creativity is allowing the teacher just to be creative allows them to express themselves and their personality and also express how they like to teach and helps the students. The sixth skill all teachers need to have is analytical thinking and this is where you compare or contrast and evaluate. The importance of analytical thinking is to enable the staff to evaluate where the students act academically and their performance and their schoolwork. From And from this, the teachers can see what areas that the student is struggling with specifically and they can help aid them in that area and help improve their academic performance. And the last skill that all teachers need is problem solving. And this is where basically you solve complex problems as it says in the concept itself. And the importance of problem solving is this allows the teacher to help create effective strategies and principles concerning discipline and rule regulation in the classroom. So if two students are fighting and it's just, they're trying to come up with a solution, then they can figure out how to do that by just going to another teacher and saying, hey, this isn't working out and they can help give them feedback on how to fix the solution.